Today's topic is to host a WCF service, right? As we know, there are three types of hosting: self hosting, IaaS hosting, and the WaaS hosting. So today we'll be covering the self hosting. So in order to create a self hosting, what we need to do is we need to create a service library, all right? So how do we do that? We say WCF, then you say new project, then you say Windows. Now instead of Windows, you go to WCF, then you say WCF library. So I'll call this guy as service library, all right? So this is my service library, which gets added, and by default it gives you a service, the default service, which I don't want to have. So I'll delete them, all right? Then I'll go to configuration section where the settings is done by WCF itself, which is this one, which I don't want it. All right, so it's cool so far. Now I'll do one thing. I'll go in there. I'll add to my library. I'll add new item, and that item would be a WCF service, right? So I'll call this service as Jigsaw service. All right, so your jigsaw service is ready and let me get more space as you can see when I create a service I get the interface and I get the class the implementation class so I'll quickly go and change the method I would like to have a method which accepts a strings and which gives you back a string and then you go back to solution explorer to see what is going on this is the class which implements your service then you come here you delete this method then you right click on it then you say implement interface and you have your method ready and then you do one thing is simply implement the method by saying okay you have give, given me the val all right so that's pretty good but uh, I want to give you more the val you gave me at what time I like to have an information about that so I'll say date time dot now dot to short date string right so that's it that's my service you give me a message and I'll tell you what message you send me and at what time you gave me back so that's it that's our service and that part is done right now the next thing what I need to do is I need to make this thing as a startup project right then I'm gonna run this thing as soon as I run this thing and below we have this screen thing called as WCF SVC host which opens up a service for you it tells you alright I found your service this is the method which you're going to implement alright you can which you can implement over here you can check the service using this tool and the configuration it gives you like when you'll be hosting on the client and how it's going to look like right so your service is up and running this is called as self uh, hosting right but every hosting has advantage and disadvantages accordingly right so next as we know our service is running fine we'll create a client so we'll call this client as jigsaw client right so our client okay I did a mistake I think yes I created a service remove remove nope I'll go back I'll add new project I'm supposed to create a console application I'm sorry jigsaw client client x alright so we got a client right and now I'll add a service reference and I'll say and there's a button called as discover I'll discover it so as you can see there are two services detected by the WCF one which is hosted in IIS the another one which is generated which is what we call as a self hosting when you run the library okay at that moment it gives you a runtime uh, service right but you consume it I'll show you the demo what I mean by that so I'll say this is called as uh, proxy right so this is proxy and as soon as I hit ok it runs the client again right as you can see this guy gets started again 
so based on this guy is running it consumes the servers and it understands what is going on the configuration in the servers which I showed you is get printed right here so everything what you need to know is right here this is a runtime generated address which you can see the design time address alright so now we have uh, everything is in action so what we are supposed to do is next thing is we're gonna call a proxy right so proxy dot we got jigsaw service client and then we'll say that client is equal to new jigsaw service client right and then one second and then we'll say console dot white line and then we say client dot do work and I'll pass check alright and then I'll say console again right and then I'll say read line just to halt and now I'll make some changes I'll make this guy as a startup project so this guy when I run this thing this guy gets a priority but as soon as I run this thing you will notice the service which we have used over here gets activated to serve the client and that is called as a self hosting so in order to run this client you this guy needs to be you know up and running right so that's why we go for the IS hosting or WAS hosting where once the service is deployed then this guy this guy does not come into the picture right so let's see it one more time so as you can see as soon as I run the application this guy comes into the picture this guy activated automatically and apart from that our output is ready it says check and it gives you a proper time so that's self hosting generally I mean most of the times uh, I don't understand why self hosting is used maybe for the demo purposes or there could be other reasons which maybe I don't know you can figure out on the internet but generally I go by the IIS or was hosting I have already covered the IIS hosting video you can check out on the YouTube anyways I hope you uh, understood what we have done so far alright so if you like the video please subscribe in case of any queries or comment they are most welcome thank you for watching this video